Hi, Jim Rossetti here, and I'm sitting today talking with Mr. Larry Foles. Larry's company is Industrial Battery Service. Uh, Larry, Industrial Battery Service, a company that delivers a maintenance service to batteries. Yes, that's what we are. Okay. Primarily, we're talking about forklift batteries here. Yeah, and it's very important to companies to have these forklifts going because that's what keeps their business running. Okay, now what you're saying with your service is this will extend the life of a battery for as much as two, three, maybe even five years it could go on. Yes, that is correct. Because the battery is the intentional life is to be about 10 years, right? right. And that's not happening. No. There's an issue called sulfation that occurs. It's a natural uh, occurrence in batteries. And uh, gradually this starts building and building until the battery is no, no longer useful. We want to get a, a full 10 years out of our batteries, right? Yes, correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got special equipment that gets used to help break the uh, sulfation deposits down, return it back to the electrolyte where it came from. Mm -hmm and now you've got a full functioning battery again. Okay, so this cuts down the maintenance costs. And they, in fact, they don't even have to maintain it. You're, you're going to be doing that. They can outsource that to you. Okay, Larry, uh, today we brought in a little sample of a battery here that folks can take a look at. And I think this thing has really got some corrosion going on. And sometimes they don't see what's going on inside the battery, but this is opened up to let people see that. Is that a fair assessment of this battery? Yes, it is. Yeah. I saw how sulfated it was, so instead of trying to treat it, I thought it would be a good uh, display model. Uh, I'd cut the top off of it, and as we get around the trade shows, what have you, I'm finding a lot of interest from people. They've never seen what a battery looks like, and uh, in these issues called sulfation. Okay. So this is the kind of thing that'll take the life of a battery right out of it, yeah. in a short amount of time. That is correct. Gotcha. Okay, Larry, we brought a, uh, a, a battery cell in here for folks to take a look at. Uh, now, this is just one cell, and you said there's how many in a battery? In a 48-volt uh, forklift battery pack, you'll have 24 of these. This one cell is 2.1 volts. That's pretty much standard for the industry. Now, if you've got that many cells, there can be some corrosion going on in one of those cells, but the other ones might be fine, and that one cell could be putting a drag on the whole uh, battery. Exactly. Okay. As a battery is drained, the fork will very quickly lose its performance. So it's very important that a battery be kept up to full charge. It gets down just a little bit below 2.1 volts, the forklift will soon come to a stop and become inoperable. Battery chargers do not recognize when you've got one low cell and the rest of them are higher. And is this a safe process to do? It's a very safe process. Okay. And we might let folks know that this is a worldwide, it started here in the U.S., you tell me. Yes. And, but it is being done worldwide, and it's coming back into the U.S., and you're licensed to be performing these maintenance services on these batteries. That's correct. That's correct. Gotcha. Okay, let's talk about the safety factor here, uh, because uh, by utilizing something off the Internet, you're not always sure where that information came from, and sometimes people can be putting themselves in danger by utilizing what they see on the Internet. That is correct. Okay. Uh, some of what you see on the internet, they have all the old you know, cola trick and there are other conditioners that are put into batteries. Well, right. we'll clean up the sulfation, but we'll also destroy the battery, please. There are some processes that are being shown on the internet now that will actually destroy your battery. So you want to be careful of what you're seeing out there. And this process has been used and it, and it works. It's been proven. You're a licensed uh, service of this and you'll come in and service these clients as they need this battery maintenance. What, normally a couple times a year, would you say? Yes, that's yeah. about right. Okay, Larry, we, uh, we've got here today a, a, a charger. This is part of the apparatus that comes into somebody's uh, plant when you bring it in. And you say this is uh, actually a, 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 a tailor-made charger for this service? Yes. Yeah. We just got finished up showing you a uh, 2.1 volt um, forklift battery. Well, many times when we're doing our testing of that of these battery cells, we will find that one cell will be lagging behind the rest. Uh, depending on the age of the battery, how it was used, many times we can uh, recharge the one cell to bring it up to performance of the rest of the cells. Uh, industrial Battery Service is doing a, a fine service for companies, especially ones that have forklifts and want to extend that battery life. So I think a, a, a client would be a lot more inclined to want to use somebody that's a local company that can come in and service these batteries that's licensed to perform these services. That is correct. Yeah. Okay, thank you for being with us today and watching this demonstration and learning a little bit more about industrial battery service. And Larry, uh, the phone number to call is up on the screen. And uh, Larry Foles, thank you very much. Thank you.